Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for yet more of your daily gaming news of myself, Amata. Today is still the 25th of September and I have some more news for you on Killzone Shadowfall as Sony ha has detailed the DLC content that will be included with the Season Pass. Now obviously Guerrilla Games has already confirmed that DLC map packs released for the game will be completely free but it is of course going to be releasing paid expansion packs. Now the Killzone Shadowfall Season Pass will run you the fine price of $19.99, £15.99 or €19.99 and will get you access to an online co-op expansion pack, three co-op map packs usable only with the expansion and two additional multiplayer expansions and they have yet to reveal any real information regarding those multiplayer expansions. However, they have given some information for these pieces of content which I of course go through with you now. Now, first of all, we have the online co-op expansion pack, which says, quote, Focusing on team play and intense combat, the online co-op expansion pack adds a new cooperative game mode in which you and up to three online friends must survive against impossible odds, fight waves upon waves of enemies in four new arena maps featuring a unique leveling system and new unlocks. And for the three online co-op map packs, each map pack consists of two brand new arena maps you can play in co-op mode with your friends. Please note that these arena maps will only work with the online co-op expansion pack. And finally, the two additional multiplayer expansion packs, and it says, quote, will reveal more about these additional multiplayer expansion packs when Killzone Shadowfall's launch date nears. Suffice to say, they'll offer many hours of additional multiplayer thrills. And if you grab the season pass on day one, you'll also get your hands on an exclusive OWL combat drone skin, as well as a unique multiplayer spotlight move. So there you have it, and there's not really a release date or anything like that for each of these. Of course, it's going to be on the season pass. So if you are planning to pick up the season pass, you'll be getting these whenever they end up coming out. I have to say, I definitely respect Guerrilla Games' decisions to not charge for map packs. In my opinion, this is how DLC should be done. Map packs and mandatory updates such as, you know, any multiplayer bugs, fixes and whatnot, obviously should be free. Um, of course, it's not really the dumb thing in first person shooters to give map packs for free but I definitely agree with the decision that they've made I think that the yes you should give those for free and when you do pay the paid DLC excuse me it should be big expansions such as this that add huge amounts of content new modes and maybe even some more campaigns or side quests or more on the story or whatever or just focus purely on the multiplayer if that's how you want to do it that's absolutely fine i think that's a more honest way of doing things than well charging for map packs but that's just me personally that's just my personal opinion of course definitely looking forward to seeing how this game actually does and how it actually turns out in the end i'm not really a first person shooter fan uh, hugely obviously i like some but they're usually the ones that do something a little bit different so i'd be curious to see whether or not this particular game falls into my interests because usually as i said I like ones like the darkness 2 bioshock infinite and things like that that do have a little bit of a twist to them in some way anyway that is me done for this video i hope you've enjoyed it see you next time thank you very much for watching